Christ has risen from the dead. He has risen to die no more. At the dawn of Easter morning, when the stone was rolled away, then from the darkness rose in glory Jesus Christ, true risen light, brightening all the earth's dark night. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, here we are at the table of the Lord to celebrate the mystery of life, death and resurrection we call the Eucharist. For this we have been preparing for the last 40 days by prayer, fasting and works of charity renewing ourselves to make a change in our innermost being to rid ourselves of evil hoping and trying again to be faithful followers of Christ Jesus by following his example of the washing of the feet, being of service to our brothers and sisters, to be his sons and daughters, to enjoy this feast of the resurrection, and experience his peace in our life. And therefore, let us pause for a while, recollect and reflect, so that we may be found worthy to call on God's name for his blessings. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. All together. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory 
begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternal eternity. Grant we pray that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit Rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Peter opened his mouth and said, You yourselves know what happened throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee, after the baptism that John proclaimed, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him, and we are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and caused him to appear, not to all people, but to us, who had been chosen by God as witnesses, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one appointed by God to be judge of the living and of the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him 
receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. All together. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Give praise to the Lord, for He is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. The Lord's right hand is exalted. The Lord's right hand has done mighty deeds. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brethren, if you have been raised with Christ, Seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Be Thanks to God. be to God. Christians, to the Paschal victim, offer sacrifice and praise. The sheep are ransomed by the Lamb, and Christ, the undefiled, has sinners to his Father reconciled. Death with life contended, compact strangely ended. Life's own champion, slain, yet lives to reign. Tell us, Mary, say, what thou didst see upon the way. The tomb the living did enclose. I saw Christ's glory as he rose. The angels there attesting, shroud with grave clothes resting. Christ, my hope, has risen. He goes before you into Galilee. That Christ is truly risen from the dead we know. Victorious King, thy mercy show. Amen. Alleluia.
the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple the one whom Jesus loved and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb. So, and we do not know where they have laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple. And they were going towards the tomb. But both of them were running together. But the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen clothes lying there. But he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen clothes lying there, and the face cloth which had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the other linen clothes, but folded up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went in. And he saw and believed. For as they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, to make us reflect, I want to put before us an incident. The incident is this. A man was standing at the showroom window, admiring the display of beautiful landscapes and uh, portraits of great personalities. One of the printing, one of the painting was that of the crucifixion. The man watching these pictures had no knowledge of the man crucified and was wondering who it could be. In the meantime, another young man came there and was admiring the display of landscapes and of portraits. So the man asked this young man, who is the person 
who is hanged there in that picture. This second hangman was surprised at the ignorance of the person and he told him that that man is Jesus. He was a good man, went about doing good, helping the poor, curing the disease, healing the sick, preaching about love, service and forgiveness. But this way of life of this person came in the day-to-day -day living of people placed in high places. The scribes and the Pharisees, the political leaders. And so they caught him and they hanged him. The man heard this, shrugged his shoulders and walked away. Then after some time, he realized that that same young man was running after him. So he stopped. He said, sir, I forgot to tell you one important thing about this. The best part of this man is that he rose from the dead. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a small incident. But let's come back to ourselves. Look into our way of thinking. Look how we act and behave. Sometimes we are like this young boy, young man. We follow Jesus, yes. We follow him till the grave. And then we leave him there in the tomb and we conveniently forget about him. My dear brothers and sisters, the best part of Jesus' life is that he rose again. This is what makes the difference in our religion and in our life. This is why Christianity is called the religion of the dawn, the beginning of a new day, new life, a religion of hope. My dear brothers and sisters, Good Friday represents the maximum that human malice, deceit, betrayal can reach down to. But Easter reminds us that death is not the end. Easter reminds us that truth cannot, truth can be distorted but cannot be destroyed. That love can be entombed but cannot be extinguished. This does not mean that we in our life will not have pain and suffering, sin and death. It only reminds us that in the midst of our personal suffering, our personal Good Fridays and Calvaries, when our crosses become heavy laden on our shoulder, when we lose our hope, The resurrection of Jesus 
the reason jesus is with us to transform our dark yesterdays into bright tomorrows this is the reassurance that will help us in our life a simple day to day life to provide hope for ourselves first second to provide hope for our family members for our friends and those people who look at us as followers of Jesus they in their way of life are reassured by our way of life which is best on the life of reason Jesus and so doing we become what we are meant to become a resurrection people a people with hope a people whose song is hallelujah my dear brothers and sisters today on this feast let us therefore pray for ourselves we have been praying for last 40 days let's now pray as we enjoy the feast of the resurrection of the lord that he reassures us to live a life that is life with meaning wishing you peace of reason jesus amen please arise let us profess the profession of our faith i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell and on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen, amen. pray of the faithful our response is lord hear our prayer please repeat lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for our holy father the bishops the priest and the villagers that by their lives they may bear witness to the transforming power of the risen christ we pray in faith Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer for the nations of the world that has a celebrate the beginning of spring they may learn to cherish life in all its fullness and desist from war violence and inhuman killings we pray in faith Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer for the terminally ill that has a walk to the road of life they may understand that dying is the gateway to new life we pray in faith lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for our parish community that we rejoice continually in the experience of dying and rising with the lord in all events of our life we pray in faith lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer for our personal needs 
which he placed before the Lord in silence. We pray in faith. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayer of the family gathered here before you. As we celebrate the feast of the resurrection of your son, may we be renewed by your Holy Spirit and rise again in the light of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for hands of glory of his name for the good and good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Exultant with Paschal gladness O Lord we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You 
are indeed holy, O Lord. And all who have created rightly gives you praise. For through your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, we humbly implore you, by same Spirit, graciously make holy. These gifts we brought to you for consecration. That they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took the bread and giving thanks he said the blessing and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, an ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. <coughs> may he make us an everlasting offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your Blessed Apostles, and glorious martyrs with Saint Ignatius of Loyola and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for an unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world be pleased to confirm in faith and charity 
your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis a pope Oswald a bishop the order of bishops all the clergy and the entire people you have gathered for your own listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion O merciful father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleased to you at the passing from this life and kind admittance in your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through our lord jesus christ through whom you bestow on the world all that is good Through him with him in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we day to say, Our Father, Father who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day, day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set the apostles, peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the peace of the lord be with you always and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccata mundi, Miserere nobis Agnus Dei Quintolis peccata mundi Dona nobis pace of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
O Lord Jesus since I cannot receive you in your sacramental presence I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever O Jesus living in Mary come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power in the communion of your mysteries in the perfection of your ways o divine guest give to my soul a strong lively faith an unbounded trust perfect humility and abiding sorrow for my sins a total abandonment to your divine will and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine lord jesus thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through the spiritual communion look upon your church o lord with unfailing love and favor so that renewed by the paschal mysteries she may come to the glory of the resurrection we make this prayer through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you father son and the holy spirit amen Go forth the masses and it hallelujah hallelujah Thanks be to God hallelujah on a day like this my dear brothers and sisters to put the services during the holy week online a number of people were involved and therefore on behalf of us all i want to say a big thank you to the following people first the house fathers for the paul for the nelson for the robinson second the people who help us record video graphing these days services the editors these people are all our parishioners so i am a little relaxed and i sincerely say a big thank you to these people choir master select choir members because of the norm of the 50 people and the laid down by the government and the diocese we had to choose these people the lectors and the sacristan i want to say a big thank you and peace of reason jesus the altar decorators and those who help in planning organizing and executing this online program i also want to thank the police personnel on duty especially the chief police inspector of agripada police station amcha kristi samaja tarfe mi tuma sarvana paska cha sanacha subeicha ani ashirwad 
इच्छितो धन्यवाद finally on behalf of father paul father nelson father robinson and the sisters of saint joseph convent agripara i wish each one of you you are near and dear ones my dear parishioners and the people of vipinagar and those people who are outside of jacob circle for timing wishing each one of you peace of reason jesus have a wonderful day today thank you we see christ with Hallelujah victorious Hallelujah